hello, hello again. Tis me, Tipsy Trixie. Ready to go again. That's right. Ready to go again. All right, audio sounds great. Um, I am in my second interview of the night. We've got uh, another great guy in here, streamer content maker for Population One. Uh, getting ready to uh, hit that uh, live screen, action screen for you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys can sit down, grab something to eat, drink, and uh, enjoy the show, whether it be just listening or watching. Uh, either way, if you're laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep, uh, I'm glad that I am your evening entertainment. I love that. And uh, hopefully you guys all know what to do by now. The likes, the follows, the shares. It's not about my content. It's about the other person's content. So, uh, no more waiting. Here we go. We're going to say hello from Population One's backyard here in the beautiful area of farms. Just kidding. We're not going to do the interview here. We're going to do the interview over here in Frontier. Uh, and this is where uh, we like to call uh, Season 2 uh, Frontier Happened. Uh, we got a lot of great skins out of it. We got the harmonica. We got the matadors. We got all kinds of fun stuff that came out of this season. And, uh, yeah, one of the places that I like that they did here is the cemetery, uh, which is called the gravesite or, or whatever it is you want to call it. Um, it says the, the Boot Hill Church. Uh, so that's supposed to be the church. But uh, I focus on the dead here. It's my favorite part. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining me. Don't go ahead and hit them likes and those follows and shares. But most importantly, make sure you hit those likes, follows, and shares for this guy, Plato's K V R. How are you doing, Plato's K? Hey, how's it going? Hello, hello. Hey, um, I'm doing pretty great. I've got uh, a, a nice evening planned for us to go through uh, some interview questions, get to know you and okay. your population one experience in a little more in depth. One of the coolest things you and I talked about was that you have these questions like almost memorized because uh, you watch this content quite often, often enough to kind of know where we're going to head with this. So I can't wait to see the uh, weapons loadout game to see your tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking the same thing, man. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, embarrass myself. <laughs> All right. Well, Plato's Cave, where can we find you online? So I'm on Twitch and Facebook. Um, I mean, I post on YouTube. There's just not much going on on YouTube, to be honest. I don't get much traction to begin with with my stuff. So I, I, I stream late at night. Most of what I do, too, is when I'm not streaming is like cutting together like little comedy shorts and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I did a couple like, you know, insurance spoofs and Top Chicken one. I've got one, a uh, little newscast thing that I'm doing right now, which is like PNN News, Plato's News Network, and I'm oh, I saw that storylines. Yeah, yeah, I saw it's that on your page. Stuff. It's it's not stupid stuff. It's entertaining stuff. I really like it. Just so you know, um, it's unique. It's different from other streamers. Uh, so yeah, you guys should check out Plato's Cave. Uh, his content on uh, Facebook kind of gives that like sight of what he's talking about right now. So. Right, right. Are you live right now? I am. I am streaming to nobody. So it's I'm, I'm at perfect. Home. It's, I'm, I'm used to this, which is okay. great because then I can, you know, I don't feel like I'm, you know, obligated to oh, be, believe beholden me. to my viewers. Yeah. You, know? you, you so. will be obligated. <laughs> Let me tell you, you will be obligated. <laughs> so prepare well, it's, yourself. It's, it's, it's the time of day, too. You know, I'm, I'm, I work a lot during hey, the day, so I don't get to do stream sure. when there's a lot of you know stuff going on it's usually late later at night and stuff so. oh sure i get it no problem well we're gonna get some people to join you and your stream tonight as we get to know you about your population one experience and uh, we're gonna start with some, some very easy questions okay yeah all right all right don't be scared here we go <laughs> all right plato's cave where are you located I am in Northwest Indiana, in the beautiful area, just on the bottom of Lake Michigan. If you can imagine, the very bottom of Lake Michigan, in that area, hey, Indiana. Listen. Okay, perfect. Hmm? Uh, do you mind sharing what you do for a living outside of playing this wonderful game? Well, yes, I work for Honda. I'm a sales manager for Honda, so I sell automobiles, basically. I'm I love a, Hondas, by the way. 
Just <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm on the just on the cusp of a, a scumbag car salesman, like my friends call me, and an actual legitimate. Hey, you know, listen. Car salesman. So it's just right, okay. right in the line. Kind of a weird time for this industry too, but I've been doing about nine years. Nice. And, okay. Uh, well, you know your stuff then, uh, which makes a person comfortable when they're going to buy a car. Um, not like creepishly weird, like some of the movies, you know, like that's a different line. Right. It's a different right. type. Yeah. So, uh, somebody with knowledge makes you feel hey, comfortable listen. and, uh, you've probably got it down pack. So I trust your knowledge in that. I love the, uh, hey, Hondas. They listen. are very reliable cars, by the way. I just think so. Well, this is an opportunity to maybe sell you a new Honda. I mean, we'll have to talk maybe. after this interview. Possibly. I'm not ready yet. I got my Mazda. I feel kind of nice uh... in it. That beautiful that cherry, lot. sparkly red. All right. Uh, when did you start playing Population One? You know, I played it the the day after it came out. I was playing a lot of these games like Contractors, hey, um, Solaris, some of these first person shooter hey, games with some of these listen. guys like Alex from China. A lot of guys yeah. you see now playing Pop One. And, you know, during that time, they were all in the play test, and they're like, dude, I'm, you know, I'm going to ditch this game. I'm going to go play Pop 1. I'm like, what's this Pop 1? Why is everyone, you know, I, I got nowhere to play with now. So yeah. finally it came out. I'm like, I'm going to buy it, whatever. Okay. And since okay. then, I've probably bought in at least 60 VR games and at least 30 you know, <laughs> platform games, and I haven't played one of them. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Same here. I, I've gotten into Moss a little bit. Um I've gotten into a couple here and there. I do still uh, do Beat Saber, um, regular mm -hmm. enough to say that I do play it. Um, but really, this is this is the thing. It has taken over yeah. uh, many people's lives. <laughs> it's <laughs> taken over our so lives. But what? Well, you know, significant others have difficulty understanding it unless they're also players. The ones, the couples that are also players, they get it. They get it. Yeah. I mean, you look at the haters. I mean, you look at Devil and I. I mean, even Aspen of the Cosmos yeah. jumps in with Space Roach. I mean, mm -hmm. Pink and Green Dragon. I mean, there's a lot that get it. So hey, buy your wife a headset, put it on, and tell her to come play with me. Because <laughs> I'm not by any means a sweat. I will play with her. Even if she's yeah. got, like, to sit down to play it, have her do that. I will, I'd be happy well, you know, to play with her. Some people are just never gamers, you know. That's the other thing too. It's, it, I've been a gamer since I was four. You know, I remember having an, a, a, even before Atari. You know what I mean? Like I'm 43 yeah. now, so I've had uh -huh. like a whole computer playing weird games. So it's just been part of me growing up. Maybe some people they just never had that growing up, so it never carried over into their adult life. It yep. is what it is, you know. Yep. All right. Well, let's talk about your gamer tag, Plato's Cave. Where mm -hmm. did you come up with that name, and what does it mean to you? So it's based off the allegory of the cave. Um, mm -hmm. Really simple explanation without getting too deep into philosophy. There is a there is a world we all live in that we create in our minds that's, that's projected for us, and then there's a real world that exists out of that. It's basically Plato's, uh, Socrates' um, dual reality. So there's a reality that you construct or it's constructed for you that's mm -hmm. inside the cave. There's mm -hmm. images that are projected onto the cave wall. They're fake images. Inside of the cave is the real world where real objects exist. Just kind of a parable, like yeah, the movie The Matrix is a real yeah. good example, or They Live, that's another good one. Yeah. In this, where we're at now, it's like, you know, it's a whole world, you know. Yeah. Perfect. So. I like it. Well, uh, what level are you currently? So, I have two accounts. I am a level 61 on this account, almost 62, and I'm like okay. a level 33 on the other one. I, I've been splitting up time between Steam and, and this and all sorts yeah. of different reasons. Perfect. Uh, and then, uh, are you currently in a clan? So, no. Um, I really don't have any interest in clans. I do hang out with several different, like the Omega guys, SKS guys. I'm constantly, like, hanging out with some different clan guys. But, you know, for the most part, I'm not really interested in, in committing to a clan. It's just a personal thing. Um, the, I don't know if you've heard of Rad. I know, like, uh, Rad Fox was kind of talking a little bit about Rad, mm -hmm. which is isn't, isn't mm -hmm. a, it's not a, um, it's not a clan, but... Uh, Weller, 107, Slaughter, Slaughter, and myself were all in like in a in a um, in a chat group outside of Discord. We decided mm -hmm. to make a Discord group, and then we brought our friends in, and then you know a lot of those guys drink whiskey and do a lot of stuff with bourbon, and so it grew into this whole group of people that were already you know friends in the game. Yeah. And we called it the Rad, you know, the Rad Group or whatever. Because we're like the <laughs> kids or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, that's all. So I, I guess I, I'm considered like a part of that group because like that's kind of like the group I roll with. But okay, yeah. I, got, I just get around. I get around. 
I do too. I get around too. <laughs> Good thing Reaper's not on yet. <laughs> Let's talk about no. who is on, so we can let them know, let you know that they're sharing their love for you. Uh, and I just saw a Reaper is on. Oh no! <laughs> He's real cool. uh, <laughs> All right, so we've got. I'm just gonna go down the list here. Anthony's here, Space Roach is here, Lady is here, Common Ground is here, my other half, Devil's Reaper, is here, saying hello, the bearded goat. Mm. Uh, yeah, we've mm. got lots of people joining in, and if you guys are just hey, now joining listen. in, make sure you say something in chat so that I can share, like Mark Hurst, just like the stream. I am Mark. interviewing okay. Plato's Cave. He is live right now. He's live on Facebook and Twitch. You know what you're supposed to do. Come on, guys, do your thing. Um, all right. So, do you play in tournaments? I do not. I am, ugh, you know, UGL scrims. I did a little go scrims. I am absolutely horrible. I have not put the time and the effort into like, trying to be at that point. So, uh -huh. no. I okay. Do not. But I, maybe, you know, maybe one day, but no. Okay. Sounds good. Hey. Um, when I start every interview, I say, bring me to your favorite spot on the map. And you've brought me here into Frontier, and you talked a little bit about this particular spot here, um, over here by the Guns and Ammo Shop. Explain to me why this is your place. I don't know. This just gives me those Westworld vibes. I mean, the man in black yeah. from Westworld, just a killer character, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just think um, it's one of those areas and characters that a lot of people that are even currently playing the game may not even have this skin because... You had to be part of the season to get it, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, I know a couple of guys, a couple of my buddies that wear this skin, obviously. But, um, and I just love the area. Again, I, I like Westworld. I like that Western feel. I think this was a great addition. Of course, I don't even remember what was here before. It was like a couple of houses and mountains. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? This, is, this was a, <laughs> the just really, a really high classy hills addition. and down really hey, steep and really yeah. tall houses. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. And I like old the Western. Hills. I think that's a, you know, especially if you're in a gun battle why not have a western area you gotta have yeah some. exactly yeah. it's also really fun in custom rooms uh they they do a D tdm here as well but uh custom yeah. rooms when you guys have a group of people that you know and you're playing in here it's kind of fun to kind of role play a little bit so <laughs> yeah. yeah and plus you've it's got your cool spittoons job, yeah and you've got your spittoons yeah. like all over the place so in case you all need to like put your headsets on and start spitting in the platoons and then uh laugh when you take it off because it's not real Guys, it's not well, real. I'll tell you what, I drink a lot when I play, and this is great because I don't have to go to the bathroom. I don't have to go upstairs. Oh, I'm just going... yeah, yeah, yeah. I and hope I your wife. Drinking and playing. <laughs> I hope your wife never comes down and finds you going in the spittoon. Like, ah, she, you know, she smells things. She has it, yeah, you know, inklings. <laughs> but I just play it off. <laughs> the dog came down here. I didn't play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right next to you here in this area, I'm pulling up the map. Okay. Let's talk about the map and uh, let's. Tell Big Box to erase a part of the map. What part are you going to tell them to erase? Mm -hmm. You know, I really like Pink's answer, that outpost observatory area where it's emptying down yeah. the plane. Yeah. You know, planes all changed, I mean, not just slightly as far as things just kind of becoming more destroyed. They haven't done much with planes. But my big answer is going to be Dead River because that area between Complex 76 okay. and Cemetery, yeah. it's just so much for that area and they, they made like an aqueduct there i don't even know what that is like a little sewage area yeah. so it just seems like yeah and, and the fact that the cemetery was so hot when we first started and that was the place to go and now it's just kind of like eh. um i don't know it seems like that might be probably my my most my biggest contender sure i think that's a great uh great spot to review and look at we've got a lot of recommendations of the same thing do something with dead river please do something with that area um yeah. all right uh, how do you feel about playing a little game? I feel good about it. All right. I hope yeah, so. Let's do it. I feel good about it. I've been watching you lurking around for quite some time. Um, more recently, uh, I've been watching your weapon loadout. I'm going to be guessing your weapon loadout, as you know, because you've watched, uh, our, uh, interviews from before uh, and, uh, we're going to see how good I do. And okay. I feel, I actually feel pretty good about this one. Oh. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. Uh, you I can totally, <laughs> you could totally trick me and uh, flip it up on me. I don't know. We'll see. Open yeah. chat so we can hear each other. And then sure. uh, we'll decide where to meet once we've got that load out. All right. Okay. Cling is on. Low gravity. Have fun with that. Thank 
you. We're both uh, dropping around kingdom. Oh, I see you. Hi. I'm not, gonna, I'm not trying not to kill you. I know, right? Isn't it hard sometimes yeah. to like, not to uh, go crazy? Oh, here's a gold PX4. I mean, I'm totally going to grab that. I mean, that's a that's a great gun. You know? I mean, it is, it is also a good gun for me. I don't know why. It seems to like me. <laughs> I don't like it, but it seems to like me. What? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Every time I pick it up, I seem to kill somebody with it, so... Okay. Well, it's telling you something. I know. I'm picking ammo. Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, why are you picking up ammo, Plato's cave? <laughs> <laughs> Muscle memory. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bullshit. Right, let's fill this thing up. Uh, all right, guys. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, this uh, low gravity thing always trips me up. I always I think it's it. going to be really fun, and then it's like not fun. <laughs> That I can't stop on anything. You know, okay. it's fun and it's cool in custom rooms, but I think one of the things is when they're starting to do these different game modes. And yep. I appreciate some people love those game modes. They're just things that we can do in custom rooms. I, mean, yeah. I think most of us want things like, you know, Metropolis Royale back and some of these game modes that really were, we can't just recreate, you know, in a custom lobby. Yeah, so talk to me a little bit about that. Like, you've been around for a while playing Pop 1. You've seen a lot of things come and go. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to see, like, come back and uh, stay? Any old guns? Uh, any kind of modes? Well, you know, Metropolis Royale was one of the modes. Um, yeah. Nothing, I mean, I like that they change things up. I like when they do different things. I actually like they didn't do anything with the candy, returning the candy bags to the, you know, like anything like that this year, because that's kind of recycled. I, I do yeah. want to see more game modes and, and shooters that we're used to, like, let's say, you know, gun mode. Are you familiar with gun mode? Gun or mode. Or gun game, I'm sorry. Gun no, game. tell me about that. So essentially what you would do is you'd start off and you'd start off with a PX4 and you'd kill somebody. And once you kill somebody, you go to the next gun automatically. And you got to work your way through the entire loadout of the guns available okay yeah, yeah. i think uh, i've seen somebody do that in their uh stream before yep so it's just a cool mode and yeah. capture the flags and stuff like that just seems like if we can incorporate some of that it would change up a little bit but okay. i am a little bit excited about this playstation 5 uh the psvr i'm sorry that just got announced it's going to be pre-sale november 15th Ooh. there's some rumblings about maybe population one getting a a port to that, I guess you call it a port, I don't know you call it, but that would increase okay. the player base quite significantly. Think about, you know, PlayStation players coming to the. Yeah, what do we think about that, chat? Um, what do you think about Population One getting into PlayStation and uh, widening our player base a little bit? Um, uh, anytime we get more players, I'm down. Like, that's just it. Yeah. The sweatier yeah. we get, it's fine the better. <laughs> Actually, the sweatier we get, the more people I have to interview, so bring it on! Exactly! <laughs> and the Pico, I ordered the Pico 4, which is a headset that's uh, just come out, and they're going to have their I've own library of games. I've heard a lot about that. Like, uh, I've heard some reviews being uh, that they are better than the Quest 2, and like, a lot of uh, stats on that. What do you think? Supply drop deploying their well, you know, I ordered one. I sold my Quest too, and um, I ordered one just to have it for PC, you know, PC VR. Yeah. Um, check it out. I don't know. We'll see. If I don't like okay. it, I can. Only, it's only four hundred bucks. Like that. Well, I look forward to uh, hearing your thoughts about it. I hope you uh, share that with the community and uh, let us yeah. know. Yeah. Cool. Sure. All right. I'm ready. I'm okay. I'm searching for one more gun, and I think I'm gonna head over to the drop and just see if it's there or if I pass it on my way there. Um, cool. It's to replace the one thing in my hand here. So, I'm not looking. Yep, yep. I'm going to talk to chat real quick. Um, so I've noticed that this is a regular. Uh-huh. Those. And then uh, this instead of the other. And then there's one other weapon I'm looking for to replace... And there he is, hopefully. I, it's down there. I'm crossing my fingers, and it's not down here, so I'm going to shoot over to Summit real quick and see if I can find it. Okay, I will follow far behind. It's probably the most important one uh, of the loadout, so I have to find it. It is this ammo, okay, but it is not that. All right, so now you guys all know what I'm looking for. I probably passed it three or four times already. <laughs> 
Let's see. Huh? Maybe up here? Oh, I doubt it. They would never put one up here. It would be too easy for that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to fly over to the upper part of farms where I see you going. So hopefully, maybe, possibly, I'll find it over there. We'll see. Yeah, I see you waving at me. I Hi. see you, baby. Be fast. You're really fast. You already gave away one of your loadouts. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm trying not to. But okay, you're good. You're good. You're better than uh -huh. I think. Okay. Uh, okay. Na -na 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 -na. My biggest thing is not knocking over this table with these four beers on it. That's my biggest challenge. <laughs> oh my goodness! Why can't I find it in any of these? <gasps> oh my goodness! Aha! Okay, me. found it! Oh. Holy cow. All right, so I'm going to talk to chat real quick before we come over here. Um, these are the three that I see most common um, and paired together uh, a lot. So although I believe that this one here can be replaced with this one right here, I am going to go with this loadout. Um, and then uh, we'll see if I'm correct about those. But uh, this is what I commonly see in the most of the videos that I've watched in the, the live performances that Plato's Cave has given me. I am ready for you. Where are you at? Okay, I hear you. Okay. Hey. Yay! Let's do this right here and see how well I did. Listen. All right. Okay. Here we go. You need to start on the left down here and then just unload, or how do you want to do it? I'll know. do it one at a time. First, though, okay. let's see if uh, we've got uh, anybody in chat that uh, is talking about the uh, the headsets. And don't forget to follow the page. Of course, guys, follow the page, but more or less, follow the page of Plato's Cave. Head on over there. He's live right now. Mm -hmm. All right. First item that I chose, I was going to go with a samurai, but... I replaced it with something else because although I've seen you run with a samurai, I didn't know if it was in a favorite because I see a common loadout with you uh, that seems to be very regular. So I went with that. We'll see. Okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> so instead of soda cans, I did bananas. Do you have bananas? Oh, yeah, yeah buddy. Oh, All yeah. right. 100%. Yep. And then this is where I went a little different. I see on a normal basis, you carry mm -hmm. cans, but you also carry shakers. There's the cans. Yeah. Do you have shakers too? Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, yeah. ooh, look at that, guys. So yeah, far, I'm doing this great. Is, this, this is the Creepy, start of right? something nicer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, here's where shaker. I went straight weapons. So, okay. this seems to be one of your most uh, favorite <laughs> weapons, I'm guessing. Do you have this one you know, in your bunch? Okay, so I like this weapon a lot because mm -hmm. I can one-hand it and peek with it. That's yes. it's great for peeking. That's only when I can't find this. Oh, because okay. To me, the AKM two, three star, even a gold, I don't even care. But I can one-hand that in the peak. I can get right up into somebody, you know, flying into them and win that battle, shove it in their chest. And then mm -hmm. plus, if I'm far away, you know, it's a great mid-range weapon. I have my druthers, <laughs> even though this is a great one. I love the um, trust me. Yep, yep. Yeah, my now, druthers. Now, uh, this is what I usually see you have, but that's my because right. because this is actually um, not as easy to find around the map anymore, I've noticed. Exactly. exactly. So, um, okay, awesome. But well, I'm still feeling... That. You would, you would get, it. This is, you get a stalemate on this one. I wouldn't okay. say a loss on it. Okay. Yeah. The next one I grabbed was an RFB. You seem to be very <sighs> rosy and, and cheeky with this one. Do you have one in your bunch? You know, oh. I, here's the thing. So if I'm going to carry a, an AR or a, an SMG, I'm just going to carry one of those just for for, for ammo's sake. And okay. I don't want to share ammo. Yep. It does deplete what you have. So I did not – I do like the RFB. Yep. Uh, don't get but me if wrong. If I don't have an AK, AK I'd rather have an RFB. A, mm -hmm. it's, a, yep. it's a consistent gun, but I feel for my long range. Ooh. Yeah, I picked this up lately, and I've been – yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay, match yeah. the op. So what was your last item? You know, sometimes I use shotguns, and I love shotguns, uh -huh. but, uh... Oh, you slimy, <laughs> slimy samurai right there. One, three I weeks I've been playing that. that. <laughs> three weeks he's been plotting on me. <laughs> evil, evil. <laughs> oh, There's my no gosh. There's no way he's going to kill me. <laughs> in front of all my zero viewers. <laughs> it's 
zero viewers, you guys get over to Plato's <laughs> Cave right now. No, <laughs> this I don't guy. Need that was fun. Thank you for thank you for. I fun. love it. That's okay. That just means I'm gonna have to hunt you down and uh, kill you in the game some possible way. Yeah, you I'm know. Sure. I happen to be really good with nades, so I hope you are further distant than a nade throw because oh, that's the shit. only way I seem to be able to kill sweaty players. So yeah, I'll build and they'll go through. Coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, let's talk about all of these lovely little ladies around here. Um, do you have any weapon secrets? Any reloads or any uh, peeking or anything that you want to share with me? I learned something. I did not come up with this, and I'm going to be remiss at saying who was it that it made. They made a, a TikTok on this. I okay. forgot who it was. Uh, one of the sweats. Mm -hmm. An M60. If you hold an M60 into a like, let's say you shoot it at first, and you get that first. Yep. And then you put it into a. So once that one, you know, that bullet spread is starting to straight out, straighten yep. out, you keep the trigger held down. Yep. Put the gun it, into something like this, and then it just. And it'll keep going. Yeah, you can continue that straight. What? You know, where you're not like going nuts. You know, I was playing with this yeah. uh, in my last lobby before my last interview, and I literally was pointing at the same item with that gun, and it was going like it was seriously doing this figure eight. I was like, how yeah. do? You how does anybody yeah. control that thing? My goodness. So you, you got to get it going at first, and then once mm -hmm. you, you know you hold it down, you just stick it in the wall or something like that. Uh-huh. So I'm sorry. Whoever whoever posted that, I'm sorry. You get. <laughs> He's still giving you kudos. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my All biggest right. thing is just, like Pink says, you know, it's the peeker's advantage. It's just getting a weapon, finding that hard cover, even if it's your building, you know, and peeking and making sure you don't expose your hitbox as much as possible. Perfect. All right. Show me which one of these you dislike. Which one of Ooh, these would of you pistols. not be very happy to have as your only gun? <laughs> yeah, any of those pistols. I mean, the Magnum and I were best friends when they made it like oh. the best weapon in the game, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, then, uh, and then after they, you know, tongue in cheek, we're like, oops, sorry, you know, <laughs> uh, I ditched it. So, yeah. So you, you take the PX4, any of those things, I, eh, get away. Go away. Okay. All right. What's up, Fixer? Fixer, I've got Plato's Cave here. Go over there and I'm say hello. Like Hit the likes, follows, and the shares, guys. Uh, do you organize your weapon wheel? So this is where Red Fox and I, we we just will never be friends because of this. Because no, I do <laughs> not organize my. Weapon. I am the. I was like my bedroom as a kid is just sloppy. There's shit everywhere. I know where everything's at, right? But you know, there's a bowl of cereal under the bed for three weeks. Yeah, it's I don't. called and organized I like chaos. <laughs> I do, and it, though, and listen, I'm lazy. That's the biggest reason. But if I had to justify it in any way, it would be like if I'm in the heat of a battle and I just got rezzed or whatever. Like, yeah. There's gonna be a time where I'm gonna look at that wheel and just like figure out what's on that wheel. I'm not gonna have time to organize it, so I just roll that way constantly. I'll try to keep a, a sword in my right. That way, I can just, you know, just kind of just move my hand over and select my sword quickly. Yeah, yeah. But for the other items, I, I have that split whatever that is a second or whatever it takes to, okay. to find it so i did just make a, a commitment to omega havocs that i would spend some time on trying to organize my wheel so i am committed to that i'm gonna try it we'll see That's good. definitely not stuff. gonna stream that shit because i don't want anyone to be frustrated <laughs> over it because i'm sure it's shit not gonna be any fun that stream so forget it no go live <laughs> uh, yeah so okay um when you're playing pop one do you have any weaknesses to share like what's the easiest way for me to sneak up on you oh well if i'm drunk you're i'm done you know what i mean okay. you totally get me but the, for some reason anybody that's good with a dt anybody comes close to the dt so yeah. there's you know obviously when you get into certain lobbies you could see who's in that lobby what they're going to do and you just kind of adjust your game accordingly i'm not going to get on a one-on-one -on -one with half these guys but then you got guys like Ryan, uh, you know, VIP Ryan today, and that guy, that kid could like, no scope you from across the map, and not even <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, all the way just, from yeah, corner to corner. <laughs> you just For can't real. do anything about it, you know. So, but yeah, that'd probably be my biggest. When we get that cl close up battle, it's just if somebody's really good at DT. I'm, I'm done. Okay, very good. 
Well, let's talk about the content that you share with everybody. You get online, you stream pop one, you push it out there, uh, people pop in and say hello, and uh, you commit to streaming this game. I'm curious, mm. why do you stream? Yeah, well, it's certainly not for money. It's certainly not for notoriety. I could care less. I like the creative aspect of the streaming. I like to, you know, come up with new things. I have an instant replay. I voice okay. trigger that. I have Statbot, which will come up and pull up, you know, the current stats. I'm, I usually run that new Pop One stats, uh, you know, when you you start your session or whatever, and it'll yeah. give you your session stats for the stream. So yep. things like that, you know, I. I I like the creativeness of it. I like to have and present something that looks good. And the gameplay, you know, it may not be the best <laughs> at all times, but um, for me, I like watching it later and just saying, oh, man, that looks cool. Let's try this. Let's try that. And it's okay. just a hobby, you know? So. Yeah, absolutely. And especially when that one good thing happens each stream, that one good thing that you're just like, ah, I was streaming and I got it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I like that. And when when that it, happens, like, I, I like that. Me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, when you're playing the game, you have to pick who you're playing with. So my question would be then, how do you pick your teammates? Uh, do you run random, solo? Um, like, how do you pick who you go with? Well, I won't run solo. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, let me take, let me put, so if I'm in the morning, a lot of times I'll get up before work and I'll have like an hour and a half before I go to work mm -hmm. and I'll play and there's not many people on, you know, that mm -hmm. time in the morning. So yeah, I'll run solo, but I'll, I'll get on like the SKS Discord or Rad's Discord. I'll have a looking to play section, and I'll just put it out there. You know, put my leg out, lift up, show some leg, and uh, <laughs> and and find people that way. Or I got a couple buddies that we usually roll together. You know, hey, like, uh, how's yeah. it going? <laughs> so that's for the most part. Okay. If we pick up a random, it's it's two of us trying to find a third. You know, something like that. Okay. Um, and there's, you know, something to be said about picking up randoms. Uh, you've heard it from many other streamers that say it makes you a better player, but uh, you're also never going to grow and widen your community if you're only playing with the people you already know. So picking up a random, right. you might find your next bestie. So, you know, and it's, I have. it's advantageous. I have. Recently, to, uh, I don't know if you know Showtime. He's in the Go Clan. We were just no. in like a, I don't even know it was a legions battle one morning, and I ran into him, and now we're buddies. Yeah, so yeah, you're 100 percent right. That happens. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you've been playing for quite some time now. Uh, what would be the earliest skin that you have to showcase? Mm, you know, I didn't get into buying the skins. You know what I mean? I never, okay. never bought any of the packs. It was whatever you know came out with the seasons, and you would earn them and grind mm -hmm. for them and whatever. But most of those you could totally, you know, pay ten seeker silver now and get. So yeah, I would say this would be the skin. I don't know if it's the earliest, but it's the one I know you ha you can't buy and earn, and, and unless you were playing, I think it was season two. You know, you weren't going to earn this. So I would say okay. yeah, Logan for sure. Okay. All right, hypothetically speaking, now Plato's Cave is talking to brand new Plato's Cave. What would you tell noob Plato's Run. Cave to learn right away, right now? Need to know this. What would you teach a brand new player? I would say get your build game down, you know, especially if you're getting, getting shot at, you know, build. Mm -hmm. Carry builds and build and be evasive. I think that would be one. Of, there's so many, but this is the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know how many times you're shooting at somebody and you see them don't build and you go, oh, man, this is easy. You know, they're walking yeah. the wrong way, striping, sure. and it's just like, oh, my gosh, buddy, just build. There's no way I could hit you right now. So. <laughs> just build. I mean, I got to be honest. You know, when I first started, I picked up builds and I never used them. Honestly, because, okay. like, I was never really taught how to use them. In uh, mm -hmm. back when it first started, there was that cheesy, like, training thing. It wasn't even the training park. It was that che cheesy training thing that you would run through one time, and then it would, like, free up to play the game. And right. you had that one little section where you had to build and keep yourself from being shot at. And, uh, I, gosh, if I could remember even, like, how to do that. So I picked <laughs> up builds constantly. 
and never used them. I would have hundreds of builds because I was a absolute loot junkie <laughs> when I first started. Um, <laughs> and I started playing with Devil's Reaper and he'd be like, give me your builds. Because <laughs> he would know that I just have hundreds in there. So like, um, I think it's important to teach noobs how to use like what button it is that you're using on your controller to use those builds that you don't have to go into your, your loadout in order to use them and that kind of stuff. Um, right. I remember that being something that like I wanted to know how to do, but I didn't remember what to use to do it. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, back to the skins. If you could have Big Box create a skin, do would you have an idea of something to tell them to make? Gold Logan, come on, Ooh, baby, give me a gold okay. Logan. Now. Okay, on. that's sassy. Yeah, that would look good. Okay. Um, if you think about it, Logan's not, you know, he's not a Roy, he's not a PJ, he's not a Hannah, Eddie. That's he's right. A Logan, right? Yeah. That's it. right. Well, they've got such great characters that they keep coming up with. I'm even wearing Aurora right now, um, yes. which is a super creepy skin. Like, I've never really liked Aurora, but yeah. uh, I do like the idea of the blue skin and all the details they actually put into her. So she's creepy it's looking, like but frozen on meth. Yeah, you know. It is. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Aurora. I am Aurora, frozen yeah. on meth. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should skins. have a man voice or not. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, a good friend of mine, S Dragon. Um, yeah. And I both got our gold jackets. We timed it to do the same game. So that was a kind of a cool thing. Oh, That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, so we both waited to beat gold jackets together in the same game. Okay, I like that. I, I mean, I'm Can still far away from mine, you know, but someday it'll happen. Maybe yeah, I'll stream that. Over. Definitely over. not going to stream the, uh, the wheel, but <laughs> I'll stream the gold jacket. How's that? Okay. Yeah, you'll get it, and you'll put it on for one game, and then you'll take it off. Like yeah, that. yeah. I'll, I'll put it on, and it'll be like I'll jump into a lobby, and everybody else will have one on, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's about the time I'll be getting yeah. mine. <laughs> All right. Um, are you willing to share your stats with us? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you look at my like career stats, there was a. I mean, I've got about eight thousand games played. I'm at like two and a half <sighs> kills per game, and I want to say thirty four percent win rate. Not Ooh, nice. the best stats career. I had. Mm -hmm thousands and thousands of just games where again this is the beginning of population one we didn't have discords and you know people mm -hmm. doing training we didn't have pink we didn't have all that so mm -hmm. you know that learning curve was a lot greater for me than it was maybe some of the younger people starting to play that had like that fast twitch muscle man they see things they react quickly yep a little the senses have been dulled over the years you know i've <laughs> it's not start but <laughs> yeah i've dulled my senses over there so so yeah, I would say, but now I've been looking more and grading myself on like season stats. So trying to be right around, like right now I think, and I've had a duffer last week, real bad last week, but I was right around like 190th or something like that, season stats. So I, I want to keep right around like 3.8 kills per game, I think right around 800 damage and about 57% yeah. win rate. I'm trying to get above that four kill per game season mark. That's my next... So I've been looking at a lot, of, especially like Pink's videos and more advanced yeah, stuff. Yeah, those are great stuff. You know, yeah. and just slowing the game down. Yeah, and just picking my weapons wisely and not. And a lot of times I'm finding out I'm just making mistakes is the reason why I'm dying or I'm not successful in certain situations. It's stupid mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. So just trying to keep myself out of those situations as much as possible and and grow that way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick, I want to say hello to. Let's see here. Jesse, Miss Misery, Chris, David, mm -hmm. John, the Misery. Teacher VR. I also said hi to Fixer already. And Robert, thanks for liking and uh, okay. sharing out the stream, guys. I am here interviewing Plato's Cave VR. You can find him live right now on Facebook and Twitch. Hop on over there, say hello, Plato's Cave, real quick. Uh, when we're searching for you, do we use a space or an underscore after Plato's underscore. Cave? We yeah, do underscore use an VR. underscore? Okay, perfect. So just like his name here, guys, I'm going to get super weird, awkwardly, awkwardly close. Plato's Cave, so you guys can see it. Um, go search it up right now. Type it in. It's okay to leave and come back. It's okay to leave and stay in Plato's. It's okay, guys. <laughs> okay. All just right. Like, you know, yeah. 
All right. So population one uh, put out the rank placement system. What were your thoughts when that came out? And then what were your thoughts when it went away? Do you want it to come back again? I liked it. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of came late to the party. I wasn't playing that summer when it first came out, so I only got two bananas out of the whole thing. But okay. I like it. I, that's the kind of gameplay, you know, I know everyone's, you know, worried because it's more like comp gameplay and everyone's working for zone and stuff. But, mm -hmm. like, okay, then play that game style. You know, I mean, it really helped everyone's gameplay overall, I think. A lot of people were upset about it. I don't know. To me, you got to be top 500, and you know, you're either top 500 or you're not, and it's not a big deal. It doesn't make you a worse player, a better player. You know, it just some people took it more serious than others, and and the ones life, that did got the stupid. Life title still went so, on. <laughs> should it should it continue? I don't know. I mean, if it doesn't, I'm not gonna lose sleep. You know. Um, okay. But I like the fact that they are all con continually to try things like that. You know, um, and do just just do different things. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I agree. They do a really great job in developing this game and trying things out that are working in other games. Uh, they do a lot of playtesting in areas that they want to see if uh, seasoned players will be interested in it and if it will bring in a new community. Um, so yeah, they're doing a great job. Even if we don't like what they're doing, they're trying and they're not keeping it stagnant. They're changing right. the map, they're giving us characters, and you know, it's it's something that we're enjoying so along for the ride right here <laughs> yeah early on i was part of a play test weller slaughter and i were actually before there was a training park they came up with a training park and it was over where dead river was and um, oh. we got in there we did like the jungle gym thing yeah a little different than it is now and then they all kind of had us there's just us three and they were these little discs in the sky the devs were watching and then at the end they kind of like were talking to us like what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Yeah. And then uh, before you knew it, we had a training park. So kind of cool. <laughs> That's why they were testing you. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Let's talk about Pop One and how it has helped you personally. Yeah. I don't know if it's helped me personally. I mean, look, it's a great getaway. It's a great way, you know, VR gaming itself. It's become some parts of my life kind of destructive if you want to be honest i mean i've got two small children I've got a wife she works midnights which is the reason why i'm on most nights playing yeah um but you know part of me is like am i missing part of those kids lives by dicking around for hours on end at night so okay. i wouldn't say it's completely a positive i i love the game don't get me wrong it's a getaway i love the people i've made such great connections with such great people around the country and world so so many positives but as far as personally it's you you trade you no one this ain't free for nobody you know and i yep. mean 9 30 bucks i'm talking about your life you know so yep it's a trade-off don't get me wrong um but i don't regret it i love it i'm going to continue to play as you know as long as i can you know so yeah sure they shut the servers down <laughs> <laughs> let's <laughs> talk about getting to know you beyond the game then let's talk a little bit yeah. more about you okay uh, the favorites questions. Uh, what would be your favorite food? I love Mexican food. I love Me too. Steak tacos. Mm hmm. Right? Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm Chips Italian. and salsa. I'm, oh my yeah, god. Yeah. I could sit there all day and just eat that, right? Me too. Sometimes Lobster. I do, and I feel so gross after. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you can't eat it at lunch and go back to sales job. That's tough. But yeah, I would Ooh. say Mexican food number one. <laughs> Italian. Uh -huh. I had a little uh -huh. place down the road from me here that used to do Mexican and Italian. I mean, you'd sit down and get breadsticks and, and chips and and chips and salsa. It was awful. Oh, that's weird. I don't know yeah. if I can mix that in my brain. It doesn't work. <laughs> You'll try. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do. What is your favorite holiday? You know, now that I have small children, it's christmas just because god you know it's so just a while you know how it is you've got kids right you got mm -hmm. what, how many, you've got a small child right uh yeah he's Baby gonna be one like this so, month yeah. so and that that kid's gonna start you know get more aware of everything obviously and just living oh, through here them. it is he's he's yeah. a little so uh, through spawn <laughs> that's so cute um i see pictures too he's adorable 
Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just such a magical time. They don't know better, and they're, you know, it's, so I would say, and like, like next week, we're going to Frankenmuth, Michigan, and I don't know if you're familiar with Frankenmuth, it's just east of Detroit, no, west of Detroit, and it's like an old Bavarian town, it looks all like old German town, and it's home of Bronner's, the world's biggest Christmas store in the world, and next door, there's a water park with a hotel, it's, it's Ooh, mm-hmm. and we stay there for a couple nights, and they do the water park, and you go downtown, they all the Christmas stuff, and you know, uh, Santa's there. They got reindeer and stuff like that. So it's really magical. Fun. Another really cool thing is, since I'm so close to Michigan, you know the Polar Express, right? Uh-huh. Um, As- Oswego, Oswego, sorry, is where the Polar Express, the actual train, is from, you know, where it, it is. Oh, the, I the didn't know that. that. Oh, Polar Express. Yeah, it's, it's 1221. 1225 is the train number. Like 1225. Okay. Oh. So, yeah, so you can we've gone there and rode the train and did the whole Polar Express thing and the hobo comes out and everything. So <laughs> cool. The area we live in, yeah, it's really Christmassy. So I would say Christmas. Okay. Long, Great long, explanation. Long. No, I love it. That's like it. It shines uh, who you are outside of the game. Very much a family man and uh, totally into like seeing the joy of your kids. Um, I love that. Um, it goes by so quick too, you know. Oh, it it's does. Crazy. Yeah, it does. Um, what would be your favorite movie or a TV series or show? Something that you watch that you enjoy? Yeah, you know, I love uh, Italian mobster movies. Godfather, <laughs> Goodfellas, Sopranos, you know, Good that taste. kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, all right. right? Nice. You know? So I would say something like Godfather 2. Just something that's just well-rounded. It's just got a great storyline, great acting. Mm-hmm. That'd probably be more... All right. Furry critters, those little guys that run around that you go through, sometimes in your life you love them, sometimes in your life you're like, Mm -hmm. this was a bad idea. (laughs) Which ones do you have in your life right now? (laughs) Gosh, you know, Tipsy, I I was raised with Great Danes. Like, I grew up, my mom bred Great Dane. Yeah, big Uh dogs, right? My Mm -hmm. whole life. My wife, excuse me, however, is into these, like, little, I call them rat dogs. I love my dog, don't get me wrong. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so this one we have is is a little Shih Tzu poodle mix, you know. So it's a Aww. little yapper guy. It's uh-huh. cute. Don't get me wrong, you know. But mostly for the kids. The boy, my two boys like. You know, it's good to have a pet in the house and everything. So, and then my mother in law just got a little multi, those little tiny little. I don't even know what they're called, Maltese's or something. Like Maltese. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. She went to Ohio to go get it last weekend. So that's Aww. kind of part of the family now, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah. <laughs> besides the goldfish, yeah, that's what we got. Going right goldfish now. is it? Is the goldfish <laughs> one of your kids? Oh, it's a beta. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay, my voice okay. beta. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we get the same color one, so when it dies, you know, it never. Dies. I was just gonna say that. I was like, as long as it's one that you can easily replace, you know, that's just how it goes. Until you, until they're ready to have that circle of life talk. <laughs> it's tough. My seven-year-old's starting. To, he gets it now. You know, uh huh. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Life. All right, uh, now I have to decide whether I believe you prefer coffee, energy drink, tea, or soda. Um, mm. A lot of things that I take into account for this, uh, things that you mentioned throughout the interview, your demeanor as you're talking to me, if you're speed talking like that energy drink kind of person talks, or your profession, which tells me you have to be up and that you're in a certain uh, atmosphere that has to keep you going. And uh, those kinds of things uh, play in a role, as, as well as, like, if you have kids or not, if I know that. Um, I know that certain things are needed in order to just um, make it through a day. <laughs> so, yeah, um, uh, yep. Uh, if I think that you are on crack cocaine or meth. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 guys, no. I just lost 12 viewers. Oh, I know. <laughs> all right, all right. No, seriously. Coffee, energy drink, tea, or soda, and I'm gonna guess um, you've got to be a coffee guy. Yep. Yeah. I would say I first. Just, yeah, because in the yeah. morning, you know, and, and, and I, don't get me wrong, I drink energy uh-huh. drinks once in a while, and I had a kidney stone before, and that was really mm-hmm. good. So I probably shouldn't drink as much of that shit. But no, no, yeah, no, especially or in the morning, soda. you get some. <laughs> yeah, I know it's so bad for you, but the mm-hmm. coffee gets me like you know the warmthness of the coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know what also sold me on it? The idea of your profession. I was like, oh, they're always running coffee. 
all yeah, day long there. Yeah, got shitty dealership coffee. Little, yeah. Little, tiny little 10 ounce cups. Styrofoam, yeah. Torture cups. Trash, yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, when you start up a game and you're ready to get in, do you have a warm-up routine? Do you use the training park, TDM, a certain kind of mode, or do you jump straight in? How do you start the game? It's a mix. I don't have a set... See, I'm not like... I don't do this for a profession, so I don't have a set like, do this, do this, and I'm in. So okay. if I'm in the morning and I'm just getting going, yeah, I might go to the training park and do... A, you know, it's, it's not just about the shots, it's the reloads, getting my speed going, getting my brain thinking fast. Yeah. If there's like SMG Mayhem or... You know, one of those kind of modes they got going on now. Yeah, I might roll into there for like a real quick, you know, just to get my brain started mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no, sometimes I'll go just raw dog it and just go right in and then just get my ass kicked for two games and go, oh, I'm warmed up. Yep, that's my warm up right there. That's my training <laughs> part. Got my ass kicked. I'm yeah. good. <laughs> two sakes, two games in a row. I'm ready. Let's Very go. good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what are your thoughts on playing with? The youth of Pop One. You mentioned this game as being a getaway. Do you have any issues playing with our squeakers? No, I don't have an issue with it. You know, personally, and this this is my opinion. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't have my kid with a headset on. If there's a seven or eight year old with a headset on, I'm kind of like turned off by that. I don't think they should have that on their head. That's my personal opinion. If you want to do it, that's fine. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't want hate for that, but I, I just my opinion. If they're older, you know, a 13, 14 year old kid, you know, obviously. Not a problem. I'll play with anyone, but I'm not, um, I don't have like people on my playlist where I'm like, hey, let's go play with 10 year old Nate, you know, or anything like that. Per se. <laughs> okay, but okay. It's just for me, it's weird to see a kid my age with a headset on going, you know, over here, you know, I'm like, oh my God, mm -hmm. what are you doing? There's, there's a what lot of those. Doing? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. yeah that's cool. <laughs> There was Some one this morning. Me, so I'm not going to hate on them. Yeah, yeah. I was watching a stream this morning and, like, it had me rolling because uh, this kid was like, Winky Dinky, Winky Dinky, where's the Winky Dinky? And I'm like, oh my God. And you can imagine, like, the, the like, demeanor of Devil's Reaper and Omega Nightmare <laughs> playing with this kid that's like, Dinky oh. Winky, Dinky Winky. And they were just like, I can see Reaper will tell silence. me what he thinks, though. Yeah. Uh huh. Nightmare uh -huh, might be a yeah. little nicer. <laughs> <laughs> they tolerate. You can see them like just gritting their teeth as they tolerate it. And then every TDM they pop into, they end up on the same team, and they're like, God. "Okay, this is our last one." <laughs> yeah, Glutton for punishment. Yeah. 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 That's funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna guess whether or not I believe you are a rage quitter. Um, and where I, I can see um, the potential in just about anybody that something can turn you off enough to rage quit at some point, um, I just, I don't feel it from you. I would say no. Right. Yeah, okay. you're right. I mean, my biggest thing is I kind of feel an obligation to my teammates, especially if they're people I play with a lot. Like, I wouldn't mm -hmm. do that to them. I have a friend, right, mm -hmm. that... Um, He'll just fucking quit in the middle of a game. If he's mad at you, he'll just fucking leave, you know? Mm -hmm. To me, that's, like, disrespectful, dishonorable. And some people don't care, and it's just a game. But, no, absolutely not. I'm with my team like they're my, you know, front, like, army. You know, like it's an army. Like we're, yeah, you know, yeah. They're your buddies until together. it's done. Yeah. And I okay. make it pissed and be like, hey, dude, I got to go, man. I'm, I'm going to take off. You know, <laughs> just leave. Yeah, for sure. All right. Uh, ooh, saucy question for you. Curious, mm -hmm. and you can answer it one, two, or three of them, whatever makes you comfortable. Who is your favorite hey, streamer listen. to watch? So, with the streaming question, you've got mm -hmm. two groups. You've got the Facebook guys, right? Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. like Space Roach, you got the Bearded Goat, um, you know, you got um, uh, Wesley Snipes, you got all those guys, right? I'm probably yeah, missing yeah. a couple of them, whatever. Then you got the Twitch guys, right? You got Dan, you got all these guys. I don't have, like, I, I watch, a lot of the guys I watch are just because I'm available during those times, right? Okay. So, um, I, I like to pop into Dan, Dan, Dan stream a lot. I fuck with him. <laughs> Me he too. He takes yep. my shit. Yeah, right? So, <laughs> he's got a good sense of humor. We bounce things off each other a lot, you know? Um, uh, another, uh, a stream I, I'm usually in is in the mornings, um, I'm having a brain fart right now. 
killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> um, I'm good with making brain farts, guys. Give me some of the, give me some of the morning streamers <laughs> on Twitch. Come on, hurry up. The morning oh streamers on Twitch. Pancakes. Okay, you get uh, Rad Fox. You oh, get Jansen Fox. Fox. Jansen, you get okay, so Tegan. Jansen, okay. Well, let me go to Jansen. That's why I want yep. to talk about Jansen. So this is, when I start drinking, I totally forget names. So <laughs> Jansen to me is like the Ryan Reynolds of Pop One, and he's funny. I love he's his content. Voice. I love it. Yep. He's smooth, and he just fucking snipes somebody and just like keeps going, his oh. keeps arguing he's with his chat. I love Jansen. <laughs> I love Red Fox. She's my girl. You know, we're usually in Discord bullshitting together. I support her mm -hmm. 100%. She does it for a living. I respect that 100%. Um, if I got to pick a favorite and I don't pick Red Fox, I would probably get in trouble. So I'll say Red Fox. Dan, Dan's my favorite. And then that's my <laughs> All right. <Fox>. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, do you think uh, that there's anyone that has helped you run your population content, whether it's technical, uh, technical, I can't speak, technical, mm. knowledge, tech, <laughs> Why can't I say With it? Technological? Stuff, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I would say, Ugh. and not to um, be like arrogant, but mm -hmm. I think my technical experience with streaming is probably more than most people that are streaming right now. So oh, I would feel like perfect. if someone had a question about streaming, they'd probably come to me. However, oh, okay. as far as like running chat and talking to people and like when it comes to streaming and like being able to like balance everything and all that, like Red Fox mm -hmm. is great, man. She just is. And uh, she's a pro. She's just a pro. And, and I've just by watching, she's not like showing me anything, but just by watching her stream and how she interacts with the chat and how that's an important part of her game. But she's still one of the best players. She does both. She doesn't sacrifice for that. I think okay. if I had to pick a place to be, it would be being able to stream, but still be able to be on top with my stats. Mm -hmm. Not be like, oh, come on into my, my game and, you know, and to get a bunch of viewers that are, you know, maybe not the best, and which is cool, but then all of a sudden I'm like, you know, had a 30% win rate that day. You know, <laughs> all about stats. You know, there is a fine <laughs> balance for sure. There is yeah, a fine balance. Sure. Okay. Um, is there anybody you would like to thank that allows you the time and patience or the assistance in you running content for Population One? Well, it would be my rad guys. I mean, Mac Cheesy is awesome. I don't mm -hmm. know what this guy's deal is, but he's 100% one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. I know him and Red Fox are tight at the hip. But mm -hmm. I know Mac before he knew Red Fox. Don't. <laughs> so I would say Weller 107 is a great person, a great guy. He runs that Discord, and he runs the uh, Rad um, comps too, which are going to yeah. get started up again. So they do yeah. their own comps and stuff. And uh, and and Bran, I don't know if you if you know Bran. I don't. It's B R four N N. Yeah. Okay. He's excellent too. He's part of. He's a verified. He's in your verified. Uh, okay. I need to know um, this then. <laughs> yeah, so I would have to definitely shout out my rad guys, 100%. One of my best friends in Pop One is is B Baker. He's SKS Baker now. We've been mm -hmm. playing since the beginning. The guys have my back like every single turn. Uh, he was probably one of my best friends in the game, with aside from Weller and, and those guys. So yeah. You know, I met Weller not in the game but in playtesting uh, for the first yeah. time. Yeah, so yeah. in uh, early, early, early sandbox, uh, I met Weller. Mm -hmm. and, he's got uh, some he's... killer Sam 007 maps and stuff he's made. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's he committed. is amazing at what yeah. he's been, what he's been drawn up. So just saying that uh, for our future of Pop One, that dude's got it going. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he'd be one to talk to, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, boxers, briefs, or commando when you play VR. Hey, you ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want the real answer? Yes, of course I do. I was a brief guy until okay. I started to try to have kids. And then uh -huh. I was told I need to wear boxers because mm -hmm. my count grows. Yep, yep, Ever yep. since, boxers the whole time. Okay, very yeah. good. See, him, a man him, who knows his flow. stuff. <laughs> to get what you need to get done. <laughs> it took a woman to change me too. You know? <laughs> oh, that is, uh, you know, our significant others are always the ones that uh, make those decisions for us. I think <laughs> mm -hmm. that's that's how you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. People oh, yeah. are like, "How did you know they were the one?" That's how you know when you're willing to yeah. do things like that. That's how you know. <laughs> I laid down. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Um, let's go Thanks over what your stream setup is. So I'm, I'm curious, do you use like a yes. green screen, camera, so, uh, the so programs? So this is the, the part of the interview I look most forward to. Is the technical Good, program. okay. So, I want you to go all out. So I run, let's start with, I run OBS. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm using for my streaming software. I do use Restream. I do pay for Restream in order to stream to Facebook and Twitter, I'm um, sorry, Twitch at the same time as well as get, you know, chat and TTS and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, as far as my camera setup, I do use an Osobot. The Osobot allows, uh, it's basically a, a camera that will follow you around the room. So if I'm moving in, yep. in my, my play space down here, It'll follow me, which I think is kind of cool. I don't use a green screen. I do have a green screen. I haven't set it up yet. But the reason being is I'm conflicted because behind me, I have kind of some cool shit, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got like my LED lights that go up. I got Plato's Cave up there. I've got my whole, you know, my TV with my setup with my desk on, the, on this side over here. I've got all my old consoles. So my Atari, my Nintendo, my Super Love Nintendo, that. my Nintendo 64. And like a display yeah. case, right? With my game. Yeah. So I've got some shit in the background. It's kind of cool to look at. So I yep. kind of am conflicted on green screening myself out or just leaving that shit in there. And this is so your I've, man I've cave, been... is it not? This is your getaway yeah. man cave? Yeah. Okay. Let's cave, girl. <laughs> and this corner, and when I walk into this corner, I've got a keg set up with a tap and a whole beard thing. Yep. So, so yeah, that's what I run with my camera and my background. And then what I'll do with OBS is I'll use several things. I'll, um, I'll use some image masks to change the, the how my gameplay looks. Mm -hmm. I've made some some art. I told you about the Pop One stats where I start my session. Yeah. Uh, using Voice Attack is one of the great um, programs to use Voice Attack because you can cue things with your voice and set up different scenes, right? The other program I don't think a lot of people are privy to that, that use OBS is called Noobs, N-O-O-B-S. Okay. There's a YouTube streamer called Nutty, he's awesome. And he created this program called Noobs. And basically what it allows you to do, you use a web socket with your OBS, this program, you open it up, and it's basically a way to write scripts with drop-down menus. So you can automate things on your stream Right, like let's say it goes to your starting screen, waits, you know, 14 seconds, and goes to this screen, and then does this. Mm -hmm. Done. And now you hit one button, and now, or you say one word, and it automates this process throughout your stream. Lovely. So, yeah. So there's, okay. and I can get into this. You don't have enough time to really, truly. There's a lot of shit. But <laughs> if anybody wants to reach out to me, again, I don't have the most popular stream in the world. Trust me, but I can help you as far as technical shit with your stream. Please reach out to me on Facebook. I will help you. I love helping people. I think. I did a couple things with some other story. Anyways, I'll help you. <laughs> I love the details. These details are exactly what I'm asking about with the questions. So mm. if there's more you want to share, feel free to, because uh, there's a lot of folks out there that want to stream. There's a lot of streamers that want to uh, do a little better in their content sharing. So if there's anything else you want to share on that, the, feel free. Yeah, and the one thing I would say is this. Mm -hmm. Your settings are so important as, as far as your bit rate, and how you're streaming. If anybody has any questions how to set that up, I've got a screenshot of that I can send you. You can set everything up, your encoder, everything, and that way you can get a quality stream. Yeah. Perfect. Love and it. And not sacrifice that. Yep. Uh, Air Link, desktop, uh, yeah. cable, what so, are you using? Yeah. So currently I'm using a Valve Index, and yeah. I'm using the Oculus desktop app with Revive. Revive allows you to use your, your, you know, your, your index set up with yep. your oculus account i did mention I, I have that that new headset coming in um i will have to probably go air link with that obviously because mm -hmm. that's not you know anything it's going to be able to be hooked up you know it's not yep. a standalone as far as pop one's concerned so i will be air linking when it comes okay i am truly curious about that other headset so i'm looking yeah, forward the to the information on it Pico. Mm -hmm. Pico. Yeah. all right uh okay we jump into a game and you have that decision to make hot drop or pod. When do you hot drop? When do you pod? Hot drop 80% of the time. Hey, I mean, there's a couple listen. spots on the pad you do just never a hot <laughs> drop at. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. there's that far spot at cemetery. I mean, everyone knows those spots, right? Mm -hmm. It's so tempting, especially, you know, if you're like, oh, the no, rush of the hot right? drop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, unless you play with Keltra. If you play with Caltrop, 
then it's a whole different game. Oh. <laughs> he will hot drop. He will climb the top of the platform. He will wait for everyone to pot out or do their thing. Uh huh. He will fly over and fall down and knife the shit out of ten people. So if you're playing with him, you kind of want to be close just in case he does need a res or whatever. Okay. Or you just want to see somebody totally destroy a lobby. But That's yeah, awesome. That, okay. I do want to see up, that. Yeah. <laughs> what is up, Mike? What's up, Marissa? Thanks for those likes on the stream. I am wrapping up an interview here with Plato's Cave VR. If you haven't already liked and followed his content, he is live right now on Facebook and Twitch. Please join him over there uh, just to hit that like, that follow. Hit those live notifications uh, for all notifications so that anytime this guy is online playing and going live, you guys know and can check out his gameplay. Um, you can always share the content out. You can always like and follow. That stuff is free. So go ahead and hit those buttons and as well as those reactions, you guys know that the reactions matter. So uh, not just once. Hit them all a few times. Um, I even got in my earlier stream some angry faces, and I was like, yeah, that means I'm doing yeah. something right. They hate me. <laughs> there is a group uh, of uh, Pop-On players that hate me. We won't talk oh, okay. About. Well, let's just uh, boo to them. This is about you. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let's talk about, in your opinion today, who is the best Pop-1 player? It's a good question. There's so many great players. I, I have to say Keltrop, and here's why. There, I, trust me, I've seen all the great players play. I've watched their streams. I've watched them from afar. When I play with Keltrop, he doesn't give a shit about anything. He's laughing. No, there's no stress. He's just one v three people. Like there's just no, like it doesn't. Like it's just so easy to this guy, and he's. <laughs> It's just amazing, you know, and he's just, and it's funny. It's kind of like hanging out with you because he interviews you. So, so Play-Doh, what's your favorite, you know, pizza? You like this and you like that? And he's going around just knifing people and I see his name on the kill box. I'm like, what the hell? And he's asking me all these questions, <laughs> laughing. And it's just, As yeah, he's killing so, people. <laughs> and don't get me awesome. wrong. There's, oh, there's so many great players, like, you know, but, but just to see how easy he can average nine kills a game in a season. Like, what is that? Who does that? So, yeah, and I wouldn't have said that until I played with them. Honestly, I would have, I would have done like slick skills and all these guys. Oh man, they're so great. Hey, but yeah, I've seen those guys sweat. I've never seen Cal drop sweat. I, that... Okay, very cool. What's up, Anna? Thanks for liking this stream. Um, okay, do you have a proudest moment of population one to share? Whether it is a proudest achievement or a moment, a person that you met, something that you uh, did while you're playing this game that you want to share out to everyone? That's a difficult question because I've had a lot of experiences over the last couple of years. There've mm -hmm. been a lot of great ones, you know. I've been verified before. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had some dark moments where I've had, you know, stupid shit happen. But I would say for the most part, my, um, relationships that I've built with certain people in the community, Baker, Weller, Slaughter, and um, and those guys have just been, you know, something that's been a, a great positive part in my life. So yeah. I, I don't have any instance like, oh yeah, I killed this one guy and it was the greatest time ever, or I had this stream where 30 <laughs> people are on. It really hasn't been about that. It's been about just, you know, meeting people outside of my actual real life that I get along with and we share things in common with. And we're able to, you know, get on a couple times a week and share this with. So yeah. I think that's the, the biggest part of it, you know. Well, and the community for this game is uh, a great community. There's a lot of people willing to play, willing to help, willing to yeah. share, willing to, like, jump into play testing and give opinions. And uh, they're just trying to grow the player base as wide as they can so that... Uh, this game can become as epic as something as, you know, Fortnite or uh, the other games that are out there and huge. So uh, it takes people like you to throw up some content for people to jump in to uh, like, follow, and share. And uh, it also, it takes people like you that's willing to kind of go over that uh, far mile of uh, not being afraid to share your gameplay, not being afraid to share your opinion. Um, and getting out there to offer your help as well. So thank you for everything you do as a streamer. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, thank you. I think I like your format. I love what you're doing. It allows us to know some of these guys that we hear about a lot. Look, I've I've known Rad Fox for a while now. There's stuff I didn't know about her until yeah. I watched that interview. <laughs> I didn't ask her either. It'd be weird to ask her, right? You asked yeah, her. yeah. And I started as a like a, a viewer that was just constantly in streams, watching, 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 and I was yeah. like. This person sounds awesome. I would I would just want to know like a little more personal things about them or like how do they know how to do that? Like just the question started fl flowing and I was like, I'm, I'm going to run some interviews. <laughs> See if you anybody go, wants girl. to do it. Like I was a nobody and like I had people that were like, yeah, I will absolutely well, you, do that for you. You I'm came like, up with it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also well. want to say one thing tonight. I tried to start this up. It hasn't really taken off that well. If you get on my Discord, I, I, get on my Discord through my Twitch account. Either, if you go to my Twitch channel, you can see my Discord link. Mm -hmm. Thursday nights, go from 8.30 to 10.30. Okay, you're in my Discord. You kill me Thursday nights. You get $5 every kill. There's a bounty Ooh. on me Thursday nights. Whoever has the most kills gets the money. All right? So I'm going to nice. be on East Coast servers, 8.30 to 10.30 Central Standard Time. Get in my Discord, kill the shit out of me, get some money. I'll pay you through PayPal, Vimo. I got it all on the Discord. Check me out. It's just some another way of just trying to get people, you know, traffic to the site and just get people watching and yeah. hopefully, you know, kill me and hate me. I love that. I yeah. like that. You should you should definitely put that up on your uh, site if you haven't already. I haven't caught it's on it yet. Yeah. If you oh have. yeah, it's all Perfect. over. I just I love it. You know. I love it. I'm gonna start uh, telling people about it. So watch out, you're gonna die. <laughs> Please, I want to pay somebody money, please. Ah, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I just want to say thank you very much for being here. Uh, stick into the schedule that we, we, I mean, scheduled this out weeks ago. A little bit. Uh, I kind of messed yeah. up, but I'm sorry. About that. Oh, you totally really didn't mess up. We talked about this. Family is first, and uh, you did it right, so... Uh, we are here. We just did it. We're done. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to Plato's Cave, but not before we get him to shout out all of the places we can find him online right now. Facebook, Twitch. Yo, come check me out. And then get on my Discord and enjoy my Discord. So you can earn money. You don't have to talk on there. You have to earn money. Are you going to stay online and play a little bit? Or are you wrapping up for you know, the night? I've seen some people hitting me up. If they're still on, I may play one or two games because my wife still thinks that I'm, you know, in this interview. Uh, if yeah. not, I'm going to wrap up. And I'll be on tomorrow morning, though. If anybody wants to come on 7 a.m. in the morning, uh, Central Standard Time, I'm going to start running my stream then. Come hang out. Love on. it. Okay. Well, you guys, if you haven't already, pop on over to his uh, page right now. He is live on Facebook and Twitch. Uh, check out his content. Make sure you hit that follow button and the notifications. If he sticks on, watch him for a few games. And if not, join him tomorrow morning and uh, do the thing that you guys do so well. Watch the Population One content. We love the fact that uh, everybody out here is so passionate about this game. So, Plato's Cave, I want to say thank you for joining. And we're going to say good night, goodbye, and uh, GG. Thank you, Tasty. GG. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, everybody, for joining the Tipsy Trixie Takeover Show. I appreciate so much that you guys were here to join me for the interview with Plato's Cave. Uh, I want to go ahead and uh, invite you guys back for my uh, soon-to-be next interview, which will be, it's right now, it's scheduled for Tuesday next week. And I've got uh, a very special one on board. I've got Bearded Goat. That's right. For those of you that have been waiting for this one that have been doing the requests, here it comes. It will be here on Tuesday, the Bearded Goat. So uh, make sure you guys are putting in a reminder. And uh, for now, I'm going to find somebody for you guys to go here check 504 out. Here said, yo. All right. So I'm going to find somebody for you guys to go check out that's uh, also streaming Population 1 content right now. Let's see who is on live that we can send you off to. Uh, share some love. I think this one would be perfect. Do not leave the stream until you hit those likes, follows, and shares, you guys. I will see you next time. Catch you on the flip side. Have a good one.